Welcome everyone to a new part, a new course from me. So we're going to start with JavaScript and uh, we're going to start from the very basic things and we are going to the most advanced, advanced things in JavaScript. So I want to make this course very good and I want to give you as much as more information that I can. So this is the first lecture is all about what JavaScript is. So I do have some here image and I'm going to say JavaScript is a scripting language. So you don't need to know the definition because all of the things you're going to do, we're going to practice actually. So JavaScript is a scripting or programming language that allows you to implement complex features on a web page. Now, I'm not going to read all of this. If you want, you can read this, you can pause it and read it. So HTML is a markup language, CSS is a language that styles uh, that markup in JavaScript is a scripting language that enable to create dynamic content control animate and stuff like that so that is done for this lecture what I want you to focus on is what we need or what you need in order to follow me now the first thing you need is text editor and I'm using VS code so what you can do you can go there you can you you can use sublime Sublime text editor. You can use whatever you want. You can use even this one. Now, download for Windows or juice for Mac OS. Depends. I'm using Windows, so you're gonna follow me uh, with uh, me. You're gonna follow me with Windows. Now, same here goes. Download for Windows or you can download for whatever you want. So they're still great. In every other text editor you're gonna use it's not gonna affect your learning now I do have this one installed so I'm not gonna download it so if I go it here if I go here VS code I can actually open it that's cool this is something that I've done before so don't mind this one if you don't have it it's all good now one more thing that I would like to do you're not gonna need it it's actually a local host so I'm using XAMPP so you can if you have something similar to this don't worry so XAMPP is a free open source platform so it's Apache HTTP server MariaDB database and stuff like that so you don't need to know all of these but you can download it you can choose the correct version and you can download for Windows for Linux for uh, OS operating system right now that is all done when you have downloaded this part you will have it like here XAMPP sorry what happened okay XAMPP and you will have a control panel like this now it will not run at the beginning you need to start this process Apache and start uh, the MySQL we're not you're not gonna use this in this part but now you know how to do them now when you go localhost so I'm just gonna close some of the things so you need to have the local host like this right and for some reason okay should be there now in our when you install this XAMPP it will create a XAMPP folder where you have like um, where you have chosen the installation you will have these HD docs now navigate to your installation and find mine is in Windows C XAMPP in HDDoc. So here I do have a lot of projects that I've created for other um, for other projects. Now these are directories that holds information there. You don't worry if you don't have it. This is you don't you're not gonna have this one definitely. Now here what I'm going to do I'm just gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna say JS intro dash intro. This is what we got, we are going to work. And if I go now on because I have installed localhost if I go here JS intro it will not have anything because that directory is actually empty now I'm gonna use the sublime I'm gonna open folder and you need to navigate to Windows C XAMPP HD docs maybe you have a different path but navigate to HD docs and find that folder so if this is a hard for you you know what you can create a folder here in the desktop and you can open and you can navigate from here now mine is empty and I want to create it oops 
a new file here called index.html. Bravo, this is your first file. Hello, and I'm just gonna start type hello. Now if I refresh, I'm gonna have that file loaded. And because I'm using um, VS Code, I have Emmet installed, you don't have to worry about it. So shift exclamation mark and hit enter and it will give you the markup, starting markup. And what we are need to do here is actually, we, we're not gonna style this one, but the thing is that we are going to do, uh, we're gonna just name it, and we're gonna create a couple of files. So this is a starting point. So I'm gonna say JavaScript, fundamentals, and maybe I should include this one, core, or first steps now this is the title so when I refresh it will be here instead of localhost right very good and I'm just gonna copy it here and I'm just gonna make a space between head and body and in the head I'm just gonna create h1 tag and I'm just gonna remove this title and let's save it refresh here it is JavaScript fundamentals so our first core steps so I'm just gonna pause the video I'm, I'm, I think that's enough for this section so key points go find text editor I'm using VS Code you can go download for your machine install XAMPP the next part is to install XAMPP it's Apache server and that will create a directory when you install it it will create directory here hdocs right and inside that hdocs you create js intro or whatever you want to call it because this is going to be intro part for js or you can just say javascript that's doesn't that doesn't matter actually but remember the name of your folder should goes here the name of your directory if it's javascript you need to go here because it's not going to work now yeah i can't load it much but that is java js that intro and inside we did create one index file we do have this one we just have a title in h1 tag so when you refresh it's actually there and that's pretty much it so this is the environment setup and this is the first steps this is nothing connected with javascript so far and we're gonna learn javascript in next lecture so thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this one and we are starting something awesome and i i would like from you to follow uh, me through the rest of the lectures because the concept and fundamentals here that we're gonna create you're gonna use them in future and if you are like uh, if you have forgot if you have done this in the past and you have forgot things you can do this like a refreshment and you can um, uh, learn some of the things that you forgot because JavaScript is a uh, as every other language you can easily forget things thank you very much I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one